Hi everyone, so I recently received a comment asking how do I create connections to handle across different environments in SSIS. And this is a pretty common scenario, so I figured I'd make a quick video just explaining how you would do that and specifically what steps you could take. So right now, uh, we're just looking at one of the original examples that I made and it's connected to my server, to this database, but this is only referenced in this package. So any other package that wants to use that same connection, you'd have to create it again. So the first step to allow connections to be referenced across multiple packages is to add it to this connection managers uh, section over here. So if we right click this and say new connection manager, we'll just do another OLEDB connection and we'll use the one that's already here. You could create a new one, but for example, we'll just keep this. And now this connection is here uh, and as well as in our connection managers on this package and any other new package we would create, it would show up here. So let's just, for example, create a new one. And we see this is here. So any package within this project now uses this. So the question is, how can we use this to be dynamic across different environments? And one way to accomplish this, uh, the best practice is to actually parameterize these connections. So if you right click down here and click parameterize, one of the options is connection string. And this will, you can do create a new one, and it will create a new project level parameter in your param, project params file, which will then be used for this connection. So if we click OK, and we take a look here, we see that this is created. So now this project connection is based on this connection string. So right now it's just, you know, this one server. But in theory, let's say you wanted to, you had 10 different packages or 100, all that were using this project parameter and we want to switch it from looking at production, let's say this is our production environment, to our development server. All you would have to do is come up here and let's say there was a, you know, whatever your, the name of your server is, this is not actually a real server, but let's just say in theory, your data source was now uh, development, uh, you could change it here and everything would follow through. So for example, let's say you wanted to deploy those development credentials only to your development server that was holding these SSIS packages. And when you would, you, know, you could take a look at these properties. If you look at the deployment properties, you would change the server to whatever the server is that's holding your development packages, depending on which one you pick here. You change the parameters here. You say, okay, we'll change this to development and deploy this to uh, our development SSI, you know, integration server. And then let's say you switch it back to production and then you change this to production, you know, and now that's, those parameters are deployed to your production environment. So it's different environments with different connection strings. So you're working with different data uh, and it's all handled through these uh, parameters. I hope this is helpful. Now, please ask any more questions and I'm happy to make uh, additional videos to explain further. Thanks.